today we're going to visit the factory of a laser welding gun here in Wuhan. Tell me to, to take a view of their factory and their lab. Wuhan Kari, the technologist. We have been doing laser welding gun for many years. Very professional. And we have used their laser welding gun. Today we are going to introduce the evolution history of this welding gun, what they have done in the past few years, and what's the improvements they've got. Here is the assembling job shop of their products. Here are the parts on the shelf, which are the main parts for, the, for making the welding gun. This is the QBH connector for the laser source QBH connector. And these are for the focus lens, connecting lens holder. And these are the welding heads. Hello everyone, welcome to DM Laser VBC. This is Jelly. Today I'm going to introduce you the evolution history of laser welding gun in our laser welding gun manufacturing uh, lab. Here on the desk, you will have a look of all the generations of laser welding gun. From the first one, which, which was designed and manufactured in 2018. It's uh, the first uh, generation of laser welding gun. It's very simple. Simply the laser came in here, and then there is a collimating lens here, and a focus lens here, and uh, the protective windows here. So it's, um, it's more like the desktop laser welding head. The laser beam came out here and only can do linear movement. So the advantage is very stable because no movement of the optics. But the disadvantage is that the welding gap is very small. When you have materials, when the joint gap is wider, you cannot use laser welding. And this defect has limit, limited the laser welding technology for many years. Then we came with the second generation of laser welding gun. Here, the focus lens, we, we gave him a motor. So the motor take the focus lens to do circular movements. Then the laser beam came out from the head, also do the circular movements, which can cover a wider gap of the joint of the metal, which very help enlarge the application of laser welding. Because when you have the metal, the joint is a bit wide, uh, you can cover with, with this. Because the this we can see wobbling. This is the wobbling uh, deposition came from. And then we had improvement of the second generation. This improvement is that um, we had the wear fitting. We are the first to bring the wear fitting technology with handheld laser welding on the market on 2019 in July. And with these sending wares, you can cover wider uh, gap of the joints. And we have the cooling for the whole welding gun, not only for the focus lens here, so this is the cooling. The whole structure of the welding gun was milled, processed with the micro channels for the cooling water go inside. So it can take off the temperature of the focus lens and uh, protective windows. And the later generation, the fourth generation of the, of the um, welding head, we had a switch on the top of the focus motors. In, in the last generation, the, 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 the laser beam can only do linear movement and the fixed circular movement. But on this new generation, we can adjust the diameter of the circle movement, which means you can have the laser move in a smaller circle or in a bigger circle. You can get a different width of the welding seam, which can allow you to weld from thin metal or to thick metal. Well, you, you probably need different uh, welding widths. This, this, is, this is very heavy, pretty heavy. This one, in all of our generations, this one is the most heavy one. The fourth generation. So we came to the 
fix, which is the main product now. Uh, we are selling like uh, hundreds of units per month. Laser welding, handheld laser welder is very popular in these two years. So every production plant is full. And this is the newest generation with the scanning motors. So it's a, I think this generation is a, a complete revolution of this because changing from the conventional motor, circle motor to this galplo motor, is, uh, which moves, which means laser beam is moving in a different level of speed. Because galplo meter is like the marking machines. The laser beam goes like 100 meters per second. So the movement of the beam before the focusing is, is very high speed, which allows you to have very high welding speed. Today, later, I'm going to disassemble this gun. To, we, we will have more internal uh, view of how this gun is consists of. Then we have a little talk about our future product, the, sixth gen the next generation, which is not on sale now, but uh, the design is mainly two directions. First is more light. Mm -mm, it's, you know, because you, when you do welding all day, the weight of the gun is very important, very crucial for the operators, the friendlies. And the second is whenever you have problems with the optics, because during welding is industrial application. You will have dust and uh, the welding reflection. In all kind of occasions, you will have uh, broken of the optics. Mm, we don't want to, to let you on call of professional engineer to change anything inside. So we make all the optics with uh, simply pull out and uh, put in. So this will be more friendly for the end user to maintain the optics. This is the next generation. So let's take a look of uh, our popular products now. This is the um, welding gun looks like. This is the main part. So this is the QBH connector. Well, you will have you have laser came in here and just simply con connecting. And this will go to your laser source. So when you make your own laser welder, it's pretty simple. You plug in the laser source here. So the laser beam came out from here. Then first, they pass through a collimator here. This is a uh, chamber for the collimating lens and the laser when the laser came out from laser source no matter for welding or for cutting for marking we all need to collimate in the, the, the beam to make the photons in the same direction so easily to be focused for the application so this is a collimating lens here and then the beam goes through this uh, Galvlo Galvlo, Galvlo lens. This is a Galvlo motor. On this, you, we, you, uh, it's not a lens here, but normally there is a rectangular reflective mirror. So the mirror will move in the angles like this, very high speed. So the laser beam goes here and uh, they will reflect to the focus lens. So the, instead of the circular movement in the, in the last two generations, the movement by scanning motors is really fast and precise. Then the laser beam goes to the focus lens here. The focus lens will be put here. The focal, the focal lens of a welding gun is normally, the diameter is 20 millimeter. Focal lens could be 60 or 70 millimeter or 50, depending on different uh, brands. And here is the protective windows. Protective windows is very crucial for, for the welding. As the operator, you need to check the cleanliness of the protective window very often. Because if the protective window is dirty or it has particles on the top, the laser will be blocked here and you will, you will not have uh, good e welding effects. And the burning of the protective windows will then pollute the whole beam path back to the focus and then to the reflecting mirror on the galvalo. Uh, motor and then sometimes to the focus. So check this lens. 
it, this is very cheap. You can buy from the website very easily and uh, just check it more often to protect your beam path. Because the, the, the meaning is of designing protect window is to protect the beam path. So just pay attention to this, clean this, check this every day before you work. And this is the, um, the last output. If the focal length of the, fo of the focus lens is 70 millimeter, means distance between the lens and the whatever the position is 70 millimeter, which means the focus is there. So you can adjust the focus position like you for different welding parameters. You want a different focal position and you adjust here. This, this one, this is for this tube with the numbers on that is for you easily checking the distance of the focus. And then the last part is the nozzle. The nozzle, we have different nozzles. Like uh, this one is the wear sending nozzle. Well, the wear goes in from here. And if you want to weld without wears, you, will, you go with this nozzle. And uh, we will have um, like internal color or outside color or cutting nozzle, flat welding nozzle, mainly five types. Okay, so then beside, you probably be curious that if you buy a set of welding gun from our shop, what will be included in the package? Besides uh, a piece of welding gun, of course, and then you will have a screen like this. On the screen, see we, what we can adjust. This is homepage and uh, laser power. You can adjust according to your laser power, probably 2000 or 1.5 kilowatt. And then laser frequency, duty cycle, galvanometer frequency, spot size, you can all, all change from here. You can go inside and you can set off the red light and the status mainly on the home page. Okay, so we have many multi-language of this. Um, almost all the main languages, Korean and uh, English and, and other languages also possible. And this is the, the, the control board. You can connect the, the laser source, the chiller, this is the other main part for the, for the laser welder. So plus a cabinet, you can finish your welding machines. It's, it's very simple, we will provide you with the diagram so you know how to, uh, how to connect. And then with this package, including the head, screen, control board, and you, you can choose the well fitter as an option. Okay. Next time we'll bring you more uh, knowledge about laser parts. Thank you for watching.